Hello everyone. I'm starting a new video in Scratch. A new project in Scratch. Um, we will talk about uh, programming languages and we will make our own programming language. So let's start. Let's see if OBS works. Yes. So let's name it 30 language. So now let's uh, make a sprite. I haven't done any scratch video in a while, so yeah. So I will call this main sprite and I'll make another one with the name add line. And here we will make sprites black and like seven let's see okay and now we will go on text and black on the marker and add line sorry for sound of discord from the background okay so now we designed a button it should be a button and make it not that big and I will duplicate this and make a button called compile so now I will edit the text and color I want to be red, you can choose any of this color so you, you want. So I will add this and uh, edit the text. So make it black and compile. Now it's uh, better let's make it centrate and now nope. now it's looking uh, a bit uh, better i have lag i don't know why now i it's it feels uh, bet, um, a little bit better so compiler will put it uh, here and to uh, make them a bit more smaller like this so now let's start with adding uh, some variables so delete my variable uh, and make a list called uh, editor and another one <coughs> called compiler so I will close this compile 
R and to make this like this and to add compile down here Now it's looking like a programming editor. So we have compile button, add line, <coughs> editor and compiler. So what's the compiler doing? So the compiler, it's verifying the lines we wrote in the editor and then writes the code, executes the code that we wrote in editor and uh, it's uh, in here and uh, now I will uh, add something so delete all of compiler and editor so now whenever we start it, let's see if you add something in this uh, list, like age, we press and cleared out. Let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, now it's like the same, only a bit here now let's go with the work so we will add later but for now uh, we will do when this sprite is clicked uh, broadcast message new line And now I receive new line, Let's make a new variable string. And Y and output. So first we will make the new line to write in the comp in editor. And uh, there we will uh, we will make our first syntax token. A syntax token is something that compiler recognizes and executes. <coughs> okay, so now we will ask nothing and set string to answer and add string in to editor so now we will add a new line like this and it's added And uh, when we press compile, nothing happens because we didn't added any syntax code. Let me go a bit. After we will uh, make up uh, this programming language, we will uh, try to remake other programming languages like C or C++, Python. And by adding new syntax in here. So when I receive new line, I... no, no. When this sprite clicked, 
broadcast compile I hope you can hear me and see the screen so compile and uh, in the main sprites uh, when I receive compile I will um, first set I to 1 and I will make a new block execute string to be able so this is going to be our first our main uh, main place where we will work so in define in this define and uh, repeat so we will repeat length of editor and we will add here um, execute no 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 set to string to item i of editor and then change i by i1 so here execute string and now we can make our uh, first loop syntax and then finish the video so no not this contains so if string contains string no contains uh, e so to print something to add something in the compiler um, then um, if it's not containing p we will add to compiler errors found in line and line i so we will know where we have errors in the editor and now we will set to we'll add a new um, like a new variable i will call it g like counting and i will set to g to one no no to three and set output to nothing do not place it a space so we can see it it's a space and now we can see anything in here do it that you cannot see anything and now we will make a repeat until later <laughs> we will work on another episode 
uh, with uh, p, this p, on uh, another function that will help us print variables. So we will create variables uh, with this program. So letter g of of uh, output I think equals to apostrophe um, and now we will uh, add set output to join output I will explain after building it uh, letter E Y not uh, I of not output of string not i but g and now change g by one i'll change it to four so i will explain it by adding a new line so p hello world so here is the first line P hello world and we will set G to 4 so page uh, would be uh, the first uh, letter we will count then output will will be set to age then to he until it would be apostrophe, so it would be set to hello world. And now add output to compiler. So let's see if it works. So I'll press compiler. Oh, not working. I don't know why. Hello. Um, yeah, let's see what's the letter, nothing, <sighs> output, hello, it took each of these, <laughs> I think it repeated one more time um yep i'll add it once again and it's not working i will repair it until next time and then we will explain i will explain to you what was the problem and how to resolve it.